A very pleasant good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome once again to the People's Forum of In the Streets with Big Stone. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this is very frightening. But I'm not trying to frighten you. I'm just trying to keep you up to date as to what is happening here in Jamaica. Now, the 2nd of January, ladies and gentlemen, this piece of footage that I'm about to show you was recorded I'm not too sure of the time, but I know it was on the 2nd of January. And this was placed by Footer Hype Music. You all know who Footer Hype is, the reputed uh, selector. And he's also a great, great uh, record producer. He did the big song the other day with Nesbet, success story that has been mashing up the place all over the world. Go out and get your copy of success story. But ladies and gentlemen, after looking at the video, it's only 59 seconds to a minute long. I had to come back and bring you this piece of footage. And you can also go to Footer Hype Music Instagram and you can see the footage for yourself. Now it is a footage, ladies and gentlemen, of a jet flying over Jamaica at a frightening speed. And it's not just flying across Jamaica, it is going upwards. You normally never see a jet go upward. You see a jet go across, but not upward. The frightening thing though, is what was being left behind. What was being deposited. I want you to take a look at this video, ladies and gentlemen. And then we'll come back and talk about what I think is going on. Take a look. Keep on the look on this. Plane to go up in the sky, so that on a plane. What the fuck is that? Look at it. See it from ground. Just straight up. Plane flies sideways. Plane to fly, so what the fuck is that? And it move at lightning speed. What is that? It's a Jamaica kind of people. You have to step on video, it, you know. This fucking shit moving at lightning speed. What the fuck is that? Look on that. The chime we couldn't see it. Boy. What the fuck that I move so fast? Wonder if I see this. I don't know what the fuck that is in there. Now, ladies and gentlemen, you've seen the footage, right? Have you ever heard about Chemtrail? And I said it in a video that I did recently, and I'm going to show you the footage again from that video, excerpts from that video. But let's go back to the conspiracy theory of Chemtrail. I'm going to tell you what it says via Wikipedia. The Chemtrail conspiracy theory is the discredited claim that long-lasting condensation trails or contrails called chemtrails by proponents consist of chemical or biological agents left in the sky by high-flying aircraft and deliberately sprayed for purposes undisclosed to the general public. Believers in the theory argue that normal contrails dissipate relatively quickly and contrails do not dissipate must contain additional substance. Those who subscribe to the theory speculate that the purpose of the chemical release may be solar radiation management, weather modification, psychological manipulation, human population control, or biological or chemical warfare, and that the trees are causing respiratory illnesses and other health problems. The arguments have been dismissed by the scientific community. These are normal water-based countries that are routinely left by high-flying aircraft under certain atmospheric conditions. Although proponents have tried to prove that the chemical spraying does take place, their analysis have been flawed or based on misconception. Because of the persistence of the conspiracy theory and questions about government involvement, Scientists and government agencies around the world have repeatedly explained that the supposed chemtrail are in fact normal contrails. Now ladies and gentlemen, 
Today is the 5th of January and we have seen well over double digits of people being killed in this country. And the alarming thing ladies and gentlemen, it is not concentrated in one area. It is right across five different parishes. Something is wrong ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to play back now the video that I did a few months ago in July and I want you to pay attention because this concerns every one of you. Something is definitely wrong. It is not just the fact that scamming is calling to being. It is not just the fact that gangsterism is calling to being. All those things play a part. Even the music play a part. But let's check out and see if there's something else that is playing a part. Now I want you to remember, ladies and gentlemen, that Jamaica was invaded by the Spanish. They tried to capture this country. We also must remember that the French wanted Jamaica. And we also must remember that the British wants Jamaica. Matter of fact, the British still owes Jamaica captive. There might be some other people that wants this country. We don't know. I cannot point a definite finger as to say which other country wants Jamaica. And if that is so true, and everything is pointing in that direction as far as I am concerned, and that's why I have to make a noise about it, somebody else wants this country. Now, have you ever heard about Chem Trail? Chem Trail is a conspiracy theory as they called it where an aircraft flies overhead and they disperse of fluid or chemicals involving these fluids and these fluids permeate the air and come down and it forms what you call a mood altering flavor where everyone who comes in contact with that chemical moods just change quickly like that overnight now the people mostly that this chemical because i know a lot of people are going to say but i live in jamaica i'm not doing that you big stone live in jamaica and you're not acting like that the chemical work mostly on the people who is under intelligent the chemical work mostly on people who who is of lesser thoughts who, who cannot decipher that really doesn't really understand right and wrong and it affects every age group now take a look at an incident recently that happened in a country part in jamaica where an elderly man close to 80 take up a plank and give a man that is almost close to 82 74 years old just for no reason just pow across the head killing him on the spot don't you jamaica see that as something strange look at another incident where a 14 year old kid recently asked a six year old that if i shoot this nine year old in front of me with this gun if you would tell anybody and the six-year-old responded yes i would talk all picked up that gun and at close range shot and killed a beautiful a beautiful nine-year-old little girl and then he ran from the premises still clutching the gun in his hand jamaica something is wrong with our people we have to start paying attention to the kind of water that we drink we have to start paying attention to the food the source of food that we eat we have to start paying attention to the music the tone that we use in these music they are mood altering tones that can change your mindset from being this loving nice honest hard-working individual to this monster Jamaica, if you look at the figures, it is not just concentrated in one section of the island. 
it is all over the island sometimes you hear it happening in Port Antonio sometimes you hear it happening in Negril Point that's from one point to another Mandeville, Clarendon, Kingston, Montego Bay Anova these places never used to have these type of thing going on sometimes when I watch the news ladies and gentlemen it makes my body puke to hear our citizens bawling out for help our citizens are bawling out for help ladies and gentlemen something is definitely wrong in our country something is wrong and I want you to pay attention start looking at each other seriously because what is happening in Jamaica is not normal a lot of people might attribute it to boy there are demons walking the earth we never know we never know if we have actual demons walking this earth assuming uh, the flesh and the character of a Jamaican citizen and then while he's in that flesh and that character of a Jamaican citizen he carries out this wanton act of murder we have to start paying attention we have to Jamaica this was a beautiful island yes we had our problems yes we had our quarrels yes we had our this and our that yes we had all these things Jamaica but Jamaica have never ever seen it like this never and I asked the question what is going on what can we do about it now Jamaica this is for one of the longest time I'm kind of lost for words how can we attack uh, these situation and these problems if these conspiracy theory is indeed true how can we fight off this evil that is on our country that is eating up our country if you look at the government both government they're clueless yes they come up with these bills and they pass these laws and so on ladies and gentlemen but the killing continues so we have to now start to dig deeper as to why Jamaicans are killing Jamaicans at such an alarming rate I have my theories ladies and gentlemen and I know personally that every Jamaican wants to live every Jamaican wants to live and have a good life but when you look at it you know who suffers really the unintelligent and the poor just the other day a friend of mine told me Big Stone do you know how much unburied bodies we have in this country you know why because their family members cannot afford to bury them and 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 it really it really troubles me so I'm lost for words I'm just I just had to bring this up so you all can start looking into it there's something going on that we're not too sure about and we should still start and beginning to start asking for questions whatever you can make of this video ladies and gentlemen think this is not the Jamaica that we once knew this is a totally different Jamaica but listen I ain't going nowhere I'm gonna be here for the long haul I'm gonna try and educate as much as I possible can I'm gonna try my best to make sure that I do what is right with our children you know and to help save this beautiful country thank you very much for watching and have if you can a great day thank you